Brits have any premium channels? Oh, for heaven's sake, Eleanor. This is a peer support group. We don't come here to watch TV. <laughs> no, you come here to watch fish. Mm. Any sign of the new guy? No, not yet. I just don't get it. How can an athlete have asthma? Actually, anyone can have asthma. Did you know, in the most recent Olympic Games, nearly 10% of the athletes were asthmatic? In fact, in many people, the symptoms are triggered by strenuous activity. Peter, why do you always talk like that? Oh, I can't help it, I'm a professor. OK, now let's all take a special effort to make Tom feel welcome. I'm sure we all remember how we felt when we first got diagnosed. I don't. I was born with asthma. Well, apparently the fellow is a top-notch competitor. I can't imagine that he would let a controlling disease like asthma get control of his life. Or maybe he would. I'm so used to being in control of things, you know, in the gym, on a soccer field. This is all completely new to me. I mean, when I left my doctor's office, my mind was a complete blank. I couldn't remember a thing either one of us said. When's your next appointment? Tomorrow. I've never been this freaked out before. Well, once, before a boxing match. How did that go? I got knocked out in the first round. Thomas, what you've got to remember is that your doctor is your partner and not your opponent. Look, when I first got diagnosed, I had the same problem. Oh, it was like a bad dream. Good morning! Blah! I had all these questions, but my doctor was always in such a hurry. And when I finally did work up the courage to ask something, it was like... So, what, what is asthma? How long will it last? <laughs> oh, what, what, what causes it? Hing shai dang ling ling bo bo hai chai. Well, how will it affect me? Can, can it be cured? But before I even knew what was happening, I was out of the office. I felt just like you did, completely lost. Which for me is really unusual because at work, I'm just the opposite. Beef steak. Type of that? Beef Spaghetti. And that is when it hit me. I figured, hey, if I can handle four customers at once, I can certainly handle one doctor. So for my next appointment, you can bet I was prepared. I gave him all the information he needed to help me, and I brought along a list of questions that I wanted to ask him. From then on, I never left the office until I'd told my doctor everything he needed to know, and he had told me everything I needed to know. He even gave me a complete therapy plan for managing my asthma myself. And he also told me about peer support groups, which is how I found you guys. Here's something else, Tom. Make a plan for staying in contact with your doctor by phone or email. And insist on receiving the proper training material on asthma and medications. And another thing that helps, keep a diary. Like, did you wake up during the night? Were you hoarse? What other pills are you taking? Stuff like that. Be sure your doctor keeps on checking your inhalation technique. <laughs> are you getting all this? <laughs> I think so. I just can't write as fast as you can. Well, that's OK. Hey, I probably can't run as fast as you can. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in two weeks, right? Yeah, same time, same place. And hey, don't worry about your appointment, you'll be fine. I've got it all down right here. And remember, Thomas, adherence, concordance, and of course, compliance. Can somebody say that in English? <laughs>
All he means is be prepared for your next appointment, make sure you understand what your doctor's saying and do what he says. Well, of course, that is another way of putting it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nice guy, huh? Cute too. Much too old for you, though. What are you, my mother? Yeah, come on, Peter. He is cute. <sighs> That's embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> oh,